Welcome to Grains and Grit. Today I'm very excited to share with you my simple cornbread recipe. Now, to every southern woman, you gotta figure out a staple cornbread recipe and I'm so excited to be able to do this with freshly milled grains. Not only freshly milled wheat, but also freshly milled corn for the most amazing cornmeal I've ever had. In case you didn't know, grinding grains is not just for wheat, it's also for corn beans, things like that. So you're able to do freshly milled corn and the freshly milled wheat in this cornbread, a double whammy for the freshly milled grains. Another great thing about this recipe is that it is a quick bread, meaning you can have freshly milled grains from milled to the table in about 30 or 40 minutes. It's very simple. So if you're new to freshly milled grains, this is a great recipe to start because you don't have to worry about the bread rising or falling or any of those tricky things that come with yeast bread. Without further ado, here is my cornbread recipe. Okay, so we're gonna add one cup of freshly milled cornmeal. This is white organic corn. One and a half cups of freshly milled flour. This is soft white wheat flour. Four teaspoons of baking powder. Half a teaspoon salt. Half cup of sugar, this is cane sugar. And stir it all together with the whisk. Next, it's time to add our liquid ingredients. This is one and a half cups of whole milk. One large beaten egg. This is a duck egg, but any large egg will do. One quarter cup of oil. And time to whisk all of this together until it's smooth. And while this is whisking, just a word about the wheat that I used. Like I said, I used a soft white wheat flour, but you can use another wheat, like a hard white or a hard red, or even a spelt or some other grains. Feel free to experiment to your liking, but I definitely prefer the soft white wheat flour. And here we go, it is all nice and smooth. Next, it's time to take your pan. This is a cast iron, about an eight to 10 inch cast iron pan, but any pan will do. Just make sure it's greased up. And we're gonna pour it all in. While this is, while you are making the cornbread, be sure that you are preheating your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And time to put it in the oven. And in about 20 to 25 minutes, it is done and it's beautiful just cook it until it is golden on the top and it's time to slather it all in butter you can leave this out but come on what is cornbread without a whole lot of butter and now we just need to let it rest for about five to ten minutes and here we are slicing it open I can usually get about eight pieces out of it but feel free to slice it however you like And here it is all nice and put together. It's not really falling apart. And time to get some more butter and add some more of that and eat it all up. So there it is, pretty simple, huh? The cornbread was so delicious, we served it up with some green beans, some baked beans, and some chicken that I had that night. And it truly was delicious. I'm of the opinion that cornbread should be soft and slathered, slathered in butter. And yes, I know I put sugar in my cornbread, which I know is a huge debate amongst Southern cooks, whether cornbread should have sugar or not. I do, I freely admit, I put sugar in my cornbread. Feel free to leave it out if you wish. I also know some people prefer their cornbread to be more crumbly and dry. I I don't, I like it softer, which this is, and again, slathered with a lot of butter, but it's up to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe below. Hit that thumbs up if you also like Southern cornbread and comment below whether you think cornbread should be dry or moist or if it should contain sugar or no sugar. Let's start that debate in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.